Is reality waiting for you? What if the moon doesn't exist until you look at it? What if every particle, every star, every law of nature is incomplete without someone or, or something there to observe it? These are not the musings of science fiction, but the philosophical implications of one of the greatest physicists of the 20th century, John Archibald Wheeler. Wheeler didn't just help develop nuclear theory and advance Einstein's general relativity, he also posed a radical question that still echoes through quantum physics. Is the universe participatory? He believed that what we call reality is not a fixed stage we live on, it's an evolving story shaped by our participation. In this video, we'll explore Wheeler's idea of the participatory universe, his famous it-from-bit theory, and the mind-bending notion that reality may only come into being when we observe it. John Wheeler was a towering figure in 20th century physics, a mentor to Richard Feynman and a collaborator with Niels Bohr. He coined terms like black hole, wormhole and quantum foam and contributed foundational ideas to nuclear and gravitational physics. But near the end of his life, Wheeler turned his attention to a deeper question. What is reality made of? He became fascinated by quantum mechanics, especially the bizarre way particles only take on definite properties when measured. This led him to propose something startling. The observer is not just part of physics. The observer is fundamental to physics. Wheeler's late work asked us to rethink the most basic assumption of science, that there is an objective reality out there, independent of consciousness. He believed this idea no longer holds. Quantum mechanics revealed something extraordinary. Particles exist in superpositions, multiple states at once, until they're observed. At that moment, the wave function collapses into one reality. This raised a disturbing question. What exactly is an observation? Is it the click of a detector, or does it require a conscious mind? Wheeler saw this as more than a technical issue. He saw it as a clue to the nature of the universe. In a famous thought experiment called the Delayed Choice Experiment, Wheeler showed that a choice made now could determine the past behavior of a photon. The act of observation seemed to reach backward in time, as if the present shaped the past. He concluded that the universe is not a pre-written script. It's more like an interactive story, one that responds to our choices. One of Wheeler's most enduring ideas is captured in the phrase, it from bit. In his view, everything in the universe, every it from atom to galaxy, ultimately derives from bits of information. Not information as we use in language or computers, but something more primal. Wheeler believed that physical reality arises from binary decisions, yes or no, observed or not observed. The fabric of the universe, he proposed, is not material. It is informational, and this information is generated in the act of observation. He wrote, No elementary phenomenon is a phenomenon until it is a registered phenomenon. In other words, nothing exists in a definite way until it is experienced, measured, or known. Reality is participatory, because it needs a participant. Wheeler's ultimate vision was a universe that comes into being through participation. He imagined a cosmic loop, a self-reflective process in which observers emerge from the universe and in turn bring the universe into existence. Conscious life is not an accidental byproduct of the cosmos, it's part of the machinery of creation. In his words, the universe does not exist out there, independent of us. That statement is not metaphor. It's the essence of his theory, that reality is co-created that the act of observation is woven into the structure of existence itself. This view doesn't reduce the universe to illusion. It elevates awareness to a primary force, not because we control reality, but because without us there may be no reality to describe. Wheeler envisioned something breathtaking, a universe that becomes increasingly aware of itself. Stars form planets, planets birth life. Life gives rise to minds, and those minds, through observation and understanding, help finalize the universe's history. He called this the self-excited circuit, a feedback loop where the universe creates observers who, in turn, complete the universe. In this vision, you are not a random outcome of cosmic chemistry. You are a participant in a self-realizing process, part of a field of consciousness folding back upon itself. 
This idea resonates deeply with ancient spiritual traditions, which hold that the cosmos is not just seen by awareness, it is awareness manifesting in form. Wheeler gave that insight scientific weight. He didn't claim we create reality through wishful thinking, but he did suggest that without observation, the universe remains unfinished. Wheeler never claimed to have all the answers, but he opened the door to a bold possibility that consciousness is part of the ontology of the universe, not an afterthought, not a side effect, but a co-author of reality. This challenges the materialist paradigm, which holds that matter comes first and mind emerges later. Wheeler flipped that script. If every it comes from a bit, and if every bit is only real when observed, then mind is not a latecomer. It's part of the source code. This resonates with what thinkers like Planck, Schrodinger and Bohm also suspected, that awareness is foundational. That reality may be more like a thought than a thing, more like a question than an answer, and that consciousness, far from being confined to skulls, may be interwoven with the very process of becoming. This brings us to the final thrilling question. Are we creating the universe right now simply by looking at it? In Wheeler's participatory cosmos, reality isn't sitting there fully formed waiting to be discovered. It's waiting to be decided, waiting to be known. In every moment we are collapsing probabilities into actualities, not by magic, but by being here, by witnessing, by experiencing. The universe unfolds not just through physical forces, but through conscious acts. You are not watching a finished movie. You are helping write the script. The stars above, the atoms below, the thoughts in your mind. They are all entangled in a cosmic dance where observation, information and existence are one. John Wheeler showed us something profound. That we are not separate from the cosmos. We are not accidents. We are necessary participants in a reality that only becomes real through our presence. The universe is not a static machine. It is a living question, and your awareness is part of the answer. The universe does not exist out there independent of us. If that idea moved something in you, share your reflection in the comments. Have you ever felt that the world responds to your attention? If you're ready to keep exploring the strange truth at the edge of physics and consciousness, subscribe. Your support to this channel means the world to us. Please share your experiences and perspectives on this matter. Let's create meaningful conversations and let's keep seeking the truth together. We are growing slow, but steady. We hope to keep bringing interesting videos to explore different areas of consciousness, but we need your support. Just leave a like and a comment. This is Spiritual Quest, and I am glad you are here. Remember, reality is still becoming, and part of it is becoming through you.